everybody. How about that? Very funny. Woo! Uh, performs here regularly. If you ever want to come back and see a show that's not on open mic night, uh, he's part of our Make a Wish for Seniors Foundation. Oh. So. <laughs> so it might have been the last time you've seen him. You never know. It's fine. We love the guy. Okay. Coming. To, it's hard to say that when he does well, but sometimes he does so poorly that everybody laughs when I say that. <laughs> not this time. We love Spike. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for James Esterline. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm so nervous, it's my first day. So give me some slack, okay you guys? Yeah. How many of you folks like porno? <laughs> yeah. You guys like porn? Pornography? I don't have any porno jokes, but I just wanted, I was curious. Uh, I'll tell you about stuff I do like to watch though. I like to watch the Food Network, and my favorite show is called Beat Bobby Flay. Have you folks ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah, such a handsome guy, he's the best chef, and you gotta make a better dish than him on the show, I guess. I wish I could be on that show, too. I just wish it was called Beat Off Bobby Flay. Because <laughs> I don't even care if I win or lose, you know? I win-win for me. Oh, you guys. Uh, this other show I like to watch, it's on a history channel called The Curse of Oak Island. Have you folks ever heard of that? about these people in Nova Scotia on Oak Island looking for a buried treasure. Well, I want to make my own reality show kind of like that. I just want, it's a little different. Mine's called The Curse of Joke Island. And you're basically trapped on an island with me until you kill yourself. And no one's lasted long. We did three seasons in one whole day. Got it out of the way. What about that movie, The Little Mermaid, they're making? The live action Little Mermaid. They got a cute little black girl to play Little Mermaid. Give it up for her, right? But some old folks, some awake old assholes are upset that it's a little black girl and not a little white girl being the little mermaid. I'm just upset. Why are they making the little black girl be a maid? What's up with that? <laughs> not out yet. <laughs> Movies, not out yet. You guys can tell I grew up on the streets, right? Clearly, I'm from the streets. My balls are from the streets, too, though, folks. And you're probably wondering what street my balls are from. Well, it's actually cul-de-sac. <laughs> Did you know the Jesus Christ guy from the Bible? You guys heard of him? It's a direct question. Okay. Well, he didn't always want to be a savior, dude. He wanted to be a pro wrestler, but he couldn't make it in the WWE. Because every time he hit somebody with a steel chair, the chair slipped through his hand holes. He hit himself in the head. It's too soon for that. He died like 2,000 years ago. If they wanted that one British lady to live a little bit longer, they should have named her something else besides Princess Dido. What do you think? Maybe Olivia or something. Let me see. I brought a list because I lose track. I don't want to go off course, which I probably already did. Oh, you guys ever heard them people say, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Have you guys heard that before? Yeah. Yes. What if other animals had that problem, you guys? Like, what about a platypus? If people say, hey, how much puss could a platypus puss? <laughs> if a platypus could put pusses or puss, puts. I don't know. You heard? Yeah, they don't do that. What about the cute little puppy dog, the shih tzu? We don't say, hey, how much shit could a shih tzu shit? <laughs> a shih tzu could sue shits. Shih tzus. Uh, we don't mess with the shih tzu. Want me to do the peacock? <laughs> how much pee could a peacock cock? If a peacock could cock peas. Peacocks. There's sperm whales, and then there's the tit mouses, tit mice. If we don't mess with them, we just mess with the poor woodchuck, right? Leave the woodchuck alone, you guys. Woodchuck lives matter. <laughs> w C L M. Or do, what's shorter? W L M. All right, let me tell you one more thing before I go, I guess. I wanted to find out what my heritage was, so I contacted 23andMe, and they're the people that analyze your DNA, and they tell you where you're from. So they sent me an envelope in the mail, and inside there was a plastic bag and a swab and instructions. And the instructions read, swab the inside of your mouth, James, put it in the plastic bag, and send it to us at 23andMe. So I did such things. And then a week later, the results came back, and I was real excited, you guys. So I opened them up. You know, said, James. We think you're a cute little Polynesian boy. 
I probably should have rinsed out my mouth first, you guys. Son of a bitch. Now I gotta wait a whole nother week. Come back next week and I'll tell you what I am for real, okay? Thank you. Give it up for your host, John Silvin. James Esterline, everybody. There we go. How about that? We're having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, so the next guy coming to the stage is a good friend of mine. He's a regular here. He's about to.